access that I figured we shoot in the utility room because we haven't been in here in a while. You can see the plumbing's pretty much all up. There's a few leaks, a massive one over there that we've been able to bypass, and a small one here, that's what this bucket's for. But overall, and, uh, aside from the fact that some of this, uh, the plumbing is kind of sloppy and messy looking, you know, it's reasonably okay. Uh, the solar hot water heater has not been hooked up yet because we don't have electricity running to it yet, but, uh, you know, to run the pumps, circulators, the computers, and things like that. Um, but what I wanted to show you in here is uh, this stuff, what looks like kind of like a modernist uh, art installation going on. What I'm doing here is I'm taking packing foam uh, and sort of tessellating it into this area, uh, shaving it down to three and a half inches, and I'm kind of filling in this wall with foam. Now there's two reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is that I, I'm required by the energy building codes in this area to actually put four inches of foam on this wall. Now we have four inches of foam on the outside walls. The reason they're saying that we need four inches of foam on this wall between the pantry and the utility room and the rest of the house is I left a small section of the floor, maybe about you know, 15 feet of floor underneath this area over here, uninsulated. It's insulated all underneath the slab and the rest of the house, even this area back here has insulation, but I left a little bit of it uninsulated and the reason for that is that it'll provide some natural 50 degree uh, ambient temperature into this room and that gives you two benefits. One, it keeps it kind of cooler in here for the food and two, if we ever, you know, the windows all get cracked out uh, and, you know, it's the middle of winter, this is where most of the pipes are in the house, that, that natural 50 degrees would keep these pipes from freezing up. So uh, that was the reason that I did that, but the result is that the energy uh, audit firm, they don't really know how to deal with that, people don't really do that kind of thing. So they're treating this environment here as absolute uninsulated outside temperatures, as though it like, gets 10 degrees in here, which it totally doesn't. And because of that, they're saying, well, you need four inches of insulation on this wall to protect you from the you know 10 below in the middle of the night in the middle of winter, which is never going to happen. The, only, the biggest difference you're maybe going to get is 10, 15, 20 degrees difference between the living space and here. So, you know, there's always going to be kind of natural. Heat coming through, the, the ground is 50 degrees, it's never really going to get that cold. But anyway, they said I had to put four inches of foam in here. Um, what I, it's kind of hard because these are three and a half inch studs uh, to fit, you know, the four inches, it'll stick out. So I figured, well, I'll buy like two inches and one inch of foam, get three inches and then just take a three, uh, another one inch at, you know, two plus one plus another one and just sheathe across the whole place. Uh, and that'll just uh, enclose the three inches of foam in there and then, uh, you know, I'll have one inch on the top, so that'll achieve the four. But then I was thinking, it's just so BS that we're even doing any of that. I was like, well, you know, do I even really need to bother to put those three inches in there? Realistically, the one inch of foam is going to be absolutely, totally fine. It's a really small temperature differential between the two spaces. Um, but that said, I'm like, well, you know, I've got all this scrap. Why don't I just take this stuff and I'll just seal it into the wall. It will be a little bit of additional insulation. It's not going to count for much because, again, very small temperature differential between the two spaces. But I figured I might as well use it up. It keeps it out of a landfill and it does provide some ability to, uh, you know, keep this place cool. It's mostly, it's mostly about keeping this place cool as opposed to trying to keep this place warm. Uh, because, I mean, this place is always going to be warm. The sun's coming in, the wood stove's going. No problem up there. It's really trying to keep that heat from coming in here so it can keep the food... Uh, cool in here. So I've been working on that uh, and I'm just going to kind of fill it up with all, all different bits, bits of scrap and then buy one inch foam, fly it over the top, maybe put uh, some very thin uh, quarter inch plywood, Luan or something like that, over it to hold it all together, make it look nice, and we'll call that a day. The thing that I'm working on today are these little fake beams. Uh, these are those things that uh, go from uh, floor joist to floor joist and they're going to hold, th hold things like lights and smoke detectors. I'm using this little template here to cut these uh, uh, little junction boxes in them. Uh, this is just a template that is made for a metal electrical box. It's got a couple of uh, places to drill in. I just, uh, you know, trace it right on there and uh, drill, drill, and then use a jigsaw to cut the thing out. Uh, pretty much all of those things have to have a uh, hole right in the middle of them, and uh, I'm just working on that today. So that catches you up on what's going on here. Um, my dad uh, was able to accomplish a lot of Electrical work yesterday, well, that was great, and I was able to finish up all the vents in all the bathrooms, the, the out, uh, outside expelling those hot, humid air vents. So those are all done, and I'm just working on these. That's it. Thanks for watching.